So this is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It got revealed a few hours ago on Twitch and I'm not gonna lie, it looked like a lot of fun. It was a massive open world map with loads of different biomes. Stop me if you've heard this before. Snowy mountains for you to fall off, tropical jungles for you to roll down hills in, desert and even a bloody volcano. Oh, and the Punisher was in it as well. He was at the end, said hi. Falcha and welcome on in. Yes, yes, Breakpoint is the successor to Ghost Recon Wildlands. That's why it looks so damn familiar. And I'm sure someone is already typing that in the comment section below. I know, I know. It's just evolved more, I guess, or they've added more features based off some community feedback from the first game. So a 2.0 of sorts, I guess. <laughs> now, it's coming out in October this year and it's a four player co op game or you can choose to play it solo if you've got no friends. Uh, it's also going to have raids, which I'll talk about in a second. It's kind of the main thing that grabbed my attention with the whole reveal, if I'm being honest. The thoughts, thoughts of having raids in a four player game like that could be really enjoyable, but you can let me know whether you agree with me or not in the comment section below. Now Breakpoint had some other cool new features that were shown off as well, like the injury mechanic, where your ghost can get critically wounded and not be able to run away and hide and not be able to aim as good. So basically, basically you're dead, that's it, you're injured. You've now got additional potato aim and you run like an 80 year old who's smoked 60 a day for his whole life breathing out of his ass while trying to hide <laughs> in the bushes. <laughs> now, of course, if you get away, you can heal up, which is always really nice. The game has got a stamina system, apparently. So wading through deep water will slow you down, snow drifts as well. So you have to manage your stamina, or I guess you're dead if you get into combat. Now, another cool mechanic that we seen during the reveal was the adaptive cover. <laughs> where one of the ghosts lay down and covered himself in mud. He just smeared it all over, went nuts, went full Miss Piggy. Now, it looked great, but honestly, I'm going to question the enemy for this one. The dude walked right past him and the ghost was clear as day. You could see him laying there. All he was missing was a big illuminous arrow over his head and then shouting, hello, EFX, before jumping up and shooting them all. But it is a really nice idea. Maybe adaptive cover in the snow or in the desert might be a thing as well and maybe you won't be as visible. Now the premise for Ghost Recon Breakpoint is that Skynet has taken over. That's it lads, it's Terminator. Well not really but kinda. An enemy faction known as the Wolves who are a lethal ex-military group with the same training as you and your ghosts have taken over the island of Aroa and gained control of their deadly attack drones. So basically they control Skynet. Now you have to try and stop them while doing your best BG impression and staying alive while these wolves patrol the island and try to hunt you down. So there is I guess a hunt and be hunted element to the game. So they were once ghosts and now they're wolves. They've gone rogue. I nearly said rouge there. <laughs> lovely colour darling, lovely. It'll make your cheeks really pop while you're lying in the mud. Fucking rouge. Now, we're being told that this group of wolves have advanced AI that will communicate with one another in order to find you and track you down. And no encounter will be the same. So every encounter you have with these guys will be different because of their AI. So it could be a fun game of cat and mouse or, or pig, I guess, if you enjoy the mud. Now, enemy types will be pretty diverse and range in difficulty depending on what type of enemy unit it is, with one of them looking like a heavy unit that escaped from the Division 2 with his minigun, completely armored from head to toe and having a minigun in his hands as well. So I guess he has had enough of Washington and getting gunned down in the streets and he's decided to switch it up for an island that's a little bit more tropical. Now, for the first time ever in a Ghost Recon game, they have said raids will roll out sometime after launch. Every four months, we're being told there will be a new DLC drop or a content drop into the game, whether it's a story-driven mission there will be weapons, gear, special events, but I am really curious about the raids. It will be interesting to see what they can pull off with a game like Ghost Recon, having raids in it for the first time. But I mean, we have the raids for the Division 2 about to drop very, very soon, so maybe that could give us a little bit of an idea of what kind of mechanics to maybe expect, maybe, maybe not. Literally clutching at fucking straws here, lads. Come on, give me something. Now, if you choose to get the game, there will be four different classes playable at launch with more apparently being added later on and these classes can be fully customized for stealth assault or ranged combat depending on what your preference is now it's a huge map full of patrolling enemies and their smart arsed ai and their drones 
One big ass drone that actually showed off in the reveal looked like it had escaped the Robocop movie set. I mean, it was fucking huge, big turrets each side of it. Uh, you're gonna be able to pick up injured teammates and carry them to safety. I know you really like helping your friends out. Or you can carry them to the bloody volcano <laughs> and toss the fucker over the edge into it for a sacrifice. Now that's something I definitely want to try out. All in all, what we've seen so far of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, it looked really interesting and definitely worth keeping an eye on. The shenanigans are definitely going to be had with this game. But of course, that's just a potato's opinion. So make sure and share your thoughts below. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks very much for watching.